decide what's good and evil. But it sounded so convincing. Be like God, what could be wrong with that? So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate and she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. And the first immediate effect of this rebellion, this breaking of the covenant with God, is verse 7. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. What does that mean? The first effect of declaring independence from God is self-consciousness about our bodies. Amazing. I wonder where eating disorders come from. It's not simple. It's profound. I commend your reflection. Now there's shame, evidently. It doesn't say shame. It just says, whoa, we're naked. We cover ourselves here. Why? Well, there's zero reason in this text to think they suddenly became ugly. Suddenly they're ugly. Ooh, we're ugly. Now we, we were beautiful. Now we're ugly. That's not in the text at all. There's no, there was no, that wasn't the, fo- beauty wasn't the focus in 225. Ugliness is not the focus in 37. That's not what's going on here. Like, oh, we got to cover ourselves. We, we got ugly when we fell. So what's the deal? They're covering themselves here because the foundation of covenant-keeping love in marriage collapsed. And sweet, all-trusting security of marriage disappeared forever. The wording is careful. Sweet, all-trusting disappeared forever. You don't have a marriage like neither do I. We would like to. And we're on our way. It was gone. Why was it gone? Why was marriage the way God set it up with this tremendous, sweet, all-trusting security where naked and not ashamed was unquestioned? Why did it disappear immediately? Reason? Covenant keeping with God is the foundation of covenant keeping with spouse. And the covenant with God broke. And this covenant was immediately corrupted. The foundation of covenant keeping between a man and a woman is the unbroken covenant between God and man. And what is that covenant? God governing us for our good and us enjoying that and relying on Him for it Now we know through Jesus Christ. God governing us for our good and we enjoying Him in that and relying on Him for it through the mediation of His Son's death and resurrection, Jesus Christ. That's the covenant that God intends for us to have. And when it breaks, marriage is broken. So they experienced immediately the corruption of their, of their covenant keeping love with each other. It, it began to be corrupted and it happened in two ways. Let's see if we can unpack these two as we move towards a close. Two ways that it broke. And we experience them today, the same. This is not ancient history. This is our experience as well. And both of them relate to shame In the first way, the one viewing my nakedness is no longer trustworthy. So I'm afraid that I will be shamed. That's the first way. The second way, I myself, I myself 
am no longer at peace with God because I've sinned. Whether I'm Adam or Eve, I've sinned here and I feel guilty. I feel defiled. I feel unworthy. And that is reflected in how I feel about my body. So you've got two things that are going on here. The one that's watching me is no longer reliable. And I myself feel unworthy. And when you put those two things together, you've got a mega breakdown in a relationship where naked and not ashamed can't be happening. There's going to be plenty of shame and plenty of criticism here. Let's, let's take these one at a time. Just want to make sure you see how this works because we've all experienced this. We're fallen. We're in Adam. We're fallen. We inherit this. This is who we are until Christ renovates our hearts and begins to rebuild a place in our hearts and in a relationship where naked and not ashamed can happen again. In the first case, I am self-conscious about my body and I feel vulnerable to shame because Eve has chosen to be independent from God. That is, she has made herself central in the place of God. And therefore, she's a selfish person. And you can't trust a selfish person. From that day forward, she's going to put herself first and others last, like me. She's no longer a servant. She wants to be served. She's not safe. I feel vulnerable around her because she's very likely to put me down. She can use her words really well to put herself up and put me down. So suddenly my nakedness is precarious. And I don't trust her anymore to love me with the pure covenant-keeping love that she once did just a few hours ago. That's the first and one source of what happened in verse 7. Suddenly, aware of themselves as naked and covering themselves. Why? Not, not first because something's happened in here, but because out there, she's selfish. And a selfish person in the bedroom is dangerous. The other reason it happened is because Adam himself, let's take Adam, I could switch it around. Adam himself sinned. He broke covenant with God. If she's rebellious and selfish, he's the same. I'm not just worried about what she's going to do. I feel defiled. I feel guilty. I feel unworthy. I deserve to be shamed. It's true. Before the fall, what is and what ought to be were the same. After the fall, they're broken. I no longer am what I ought to be, so there's this disjunction in my life. I'm broken, I'm fractured, and now my body doesn't stand for what I really am. That clean, pure, innocent, open me isn't clean, pure, innocent, and open anymore. I'm a sinner. This, this nakedness doesn't feel at home to me anymore. It's not what I am. I, I, need, I need some help. I need to be clothed. I need to have my image fixed up here because I'm a sinner. And I need protection from that woman. Because she's going to start looking at me different. Put herself up by putting me down. This is the worst situation you can imagine. And it's where we all live apart from Christ. Both of these sources of shame. I can't trust her. She's selfish. I deserve to be shamed anyway because I failed. Both of them come from being a breaker of the covenant with God. God's covenant with us is the foundation of our covenant keeping with each other. Eve is no longer reliable to cherish me. She's become selfish because she broke the covenant. I'm no longer worthy of being admired anyway because I'm a sinner because I broke covenant with God and they're both desperately in trouble. 
So what do they do? 